The city of Rochester just got a lot more colorful. Artwork is popping up all over town. Rochester is in revitalization mode. Everybody's talking about downtown vibrancy, and that means art, that means color, it's murals, it's, it's sculptures. Matt Wyatt is behind the transformation. Rochester doesn't always have the best reputation, but I think we're changing that because we're enhancing the visual landscape by infusing fine art into everyday places. Matt was born and raised in Rochester and took up art as a kid. He moved back to the Lilac City after art school and jobs in other states. He's determined to make art accessible to everyone. I was really interested in bringing art to New Hampshire rather than having to always travel to go see it somewhere else. So eight years ago, Matt and a friend founded the Rochester Museum of Fine Arts. It's located in the community center and admission is free. 200 pieces of art, mostly by local folks, are on permanent display. And a special gallery showcases the work of rotating artists from all around the world. A museum that doesn't have big marble columns and a big fancy building somewhere with a huge endowment, it's like, it's hard for people to understand that, but cut to eight years later, I think now we see all this great support and people are coming in, people are donating their own money and time to help us along, people are sponsoring us now. It, it's, it's surreal to see that. Matt donates his time too, securing exhibits like this one for the city library. So these are some well-known prints. Yeah. Works by preeminent rock and roll photographer Bob Gruen, who let Rochester keep three pieces. He's worked with everybody, like Tina Turner and Led Zeppelin, and obviously John and Yoko. He was their personal photographer throughout the 70s. And these are iconic uh, photos, you know, that were made into posters and mass produced, but we have the real deal, signed and everything. On another wall, the well-known Macintosh icons, famously designed for Apple back in the 1980s by Susan Kerr. It's really cool to be able to work with these types of artists that I never thought that I would ever work with. You'll find more public art adorning vacant storefronts. Book covers line the windows of the abandoned Hoffman Furniture Building, a colorful way to beautify a downtown eyesore. I think by having art around, it just makes people feel a sense of hope. 